Hi guys, how you doing? It's Thursday again, time for us to do a little live show for the Dinosaur Experience for Kids. Um, if you haven't seen us before, let me introduce myself. My name is Martin, Ranger Martin, um, and we like to do this weekly show where we come on and we talk all things dinosaur, we tell you about what's going on in the world with dinosaurs, and you guys can come and ask questions and chat and we can say hello and everything. Um, I'm hoping that there's a few guys out here that we've seen before. Um, oh, that's the other thing. If you want to have a shout out, wherever you're watching, um, you can be watching us at the moment on Facebook, on our Facebook group, on a page, um, on uh, YouTube, um, LinkedIn, and uh, I would say Twitter, but Twitter has a problem today, apparently. Um, no surprises there, the way Twitter's going, but uh, we can't live broadcast to Twitter at the moment, it's telling me. Um, so there's an issue there, but... Um, not to worry. So if you are watching us live, thank you so much. Um, and type in the comments, let me know whereabouts you, you're calling from or you're talking from, perhaps your age, that sort of thing, if you've seen us before, and anything like that. So let me tell you a little bit about where we're going from here, what we're going to be doing. So let's look at today's show. Been working hard on this one, so it should be good for you. Um, so we're going to do the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do Guess the Dinosaur, something we do every week. Um, and it just gets us uh, into the into the subject matter where you can try and guess what you think the dinosaur of the day might be. Um, then we're going to have a little look at who we think the fastest dinosaurs were. Now, there were thousands and hundreds of thousands of dinosaurs. Um, and over the last couple of weeks, we've been working really hard to try and work out who the fastest dinosaur is. And I think you're going to like this section. have been working very hard on it. So um, stick around. You're going to like that bit. And let me know what you think about it afterwards as well. Um, then we're going to public appearances. We'll talk about public appearances, where we're going to be, where we've been, um, and where you can see us next time. Because there's something that always people are asking is, where are you going to be next? Can I bring my kids to come and see you? Uh, where are you going to be? What time, etc. So we'll run through some, some stuff that's coming up and some more stuff that we've added um, for 2023, for this year. Uh, 2024 bookings are coming in, uh, getting lots of festivals and libraries are booking. And believe it or not, we've got something like, I think it's like 25 libraries already booked for 2026. That's three years time. It kind of blows my mind that we're getting bookings for three years time. And some of the people, some of the children that come to see us haven't even been born yet. So that's that's kind of nice. I like the idea of that. Um, so if you are a public event, or if you're a festival or a school or a library, do get in touch with us. We'll show you later on where you can get in touch. Or you can drop me a message here and I'll get back to you later. Um, but yeah, we're very interested in doing lots of public appearances. And we also do lots of private appearances as well. Uh, and then we do shout outs at the end. I always like to go through everybody that's on. So please do leave a message for us now. Type into the comments wherever you're watching us, either on Facebook or YouTube or LinkedIn. Um, let me know your, who you are, where you're watching us from, and we'll give you a shout out as we go. All right, let's move on then, guys. Um, let's move on to our guest, the dinosaur. Let's see. I, I got a feeling that this dinosaur, if we'd have shown it two years ago, very few people would have known it. We probably wouldn't have got an answer. But it is one you probably, or some of you may know. So let's bring it up. Here he is. Here's our Guess the Dinosaur. He's quite a popular little guy. Um, he's a popular, yes, Rexy, we can see. Rexy always has to get in on the act, doesn't he? Yes, Rexy, we can see you. All right. Um, uh, some of you guys may recognize this dinosaur from the recent movie, Jurassic Park Dominion. He had a, quite a major role in that movie. Um, you'll recognise him from his long claws. Interesting fact that I hadn't realised until I did some research and I was reading about the, the movie, Jurassic Park Dominion. Um, this creature in the movie was actually supposed to be blind. Okay, He couldn't see. Um, they didn't actually make anything of that in the movie. I guess they cut that bit out where they explained the, the reason that it was blind. Um, but yeah, so apparently the Therizinosaurus, the, uh, sorry, Nelly gave it away there, <laughs> the, the guess the dinosaur, if you didn't hear what I just said, um, was, uh, blind in the movie. All right, so let's, let's move on, um, from there. Now, I, I just got a thumbs up, I, and that reminds me, thank you so much for the thumbs up. Guys, if you can hear me, please do give me a thumbs up, lots of thumbs up, and hearts, 
um, for two reasons. Firstly, it lets me know that we're actually going out. I'm looking, yeah, it looks like the microphone's working, so hopefully you can hear me. I've gone back to my main microphone now. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got a big microphone in front of me rather than the, the mouth mic because I was doing some testing earlier in the week and I didn't like how it sounded. It, it kind of broke up a bit. So we're back to the main mic again now. Um, and I'll get the sound sorted eventually, I promise you. But um, if you can hear me, please do give me lots and lots of thumbs up. Just keep hitting that thumbs up because, like I say, it helps me to know that you can hear me. Um, and also, the more thumbs up and the more hearts we get, the more people will know about us. Facebook pushes it out to more people if we get interactions. So if you guys type in the comments or if you give me a thumbs up or a heart, then that helps us to spread the word and more people will see what's going on. All right, so let's get on to our main subject now. The main subject of the day that we've been talking about, the fastest dinosaur. Who is the fastest dinosaur? This is a question that lots of people have been asking, and I've, I've actually in, I've brought along somebody else who can help us today, um, somebody who's going to be co-presenting with us for probably quite a few weeks. Um, uh, her name is Barbara Saurus, um, and she's a fantastic dinosaur, very knowledgeable, um, an absolute professional to work with, um, and we'll go over to Barbara Saurus now in the studio, and she will tell us all about the fastest dinosaur. Over to you, Barbara. Yes, thank you, Ranger Martin, for that amazing introduction. Now, let me tell you, boys and girls, we are so excited here. The dinosaurs have been racing for the last two weeks, and we've whittled them down to our final five finalists. Now, let me introduce you to our final five who are going to be in today's final. We have the Gallimimus. Now the Gallimimus, his name means chicken mimic. He's three times taller than most humans and he's 20 foot long. He's a big guy. His size could really give him a lot of advantages with a big long stride. Is it enough to make him the champion of champions when it comes to the fastest dinosaurs? I guess only time will tell. Next we have the Truodon, an 8 foot long and 3 foot high. There are lots of points of view about this little fella. Some people say that he's gonna be quick, other people say that he doesn't exist. That's right, you heard it here. Lots and lots of scientists have discussed the Truodon and they believe that he's not a real dinosaur. Mainly because the whole thing about Truodon was all based on a single tooth that's been found. Now I'm sure the Truder will be out to prove his worth today. He'll be putting in all the effort into the race to see how far and how much he can push to prove his existence. Next we have the Dromosaurus. At six foot long and two and a half feet tall, the Dromosaurus are a particularly fast family and they include animals more widely known as raptors. But scientists don't really like the name raptors. They prefer dromosaur. With their long stiffened tail, can that be used to help them win the race and push himself to the front? Only today we will find out the answer. Our next dinosaur is the Ornithomimus. His name means bird mimic. At 7 foot tall and 12 foot long, he's known to be a pack animal. Now these pack animals are very, very quick. However, when they're attacked, they tend to run round in circles like headless chickens, not knowing what to go. I don't think that's going to be much an advantage when it comes to racing the fastest dinosaurs in the world. And our final finalist of our top five dinosaurs racing to be the champion champion, the champions of dinosaurs, is the Deinonychus. At ten feet long and three feet tall, it's widely believed that this is the dinosaur that Steven Spielberg, yes, Steven Spielberg from Jurassic Park, the Deinonychus is widely believed to be the version of 
dinosaur that he based the Velociraptor on. So when you guys think about the movie version of Velociraptor, actually he looks more like the Deinonychus. So let's find out, shall we, who of these top five dinosaurs are going to be the winner in the biggest dinosaur race we've ever, ever held. Let's go live to the racetrack. And there's a little bit of jostling on the line there as they're jostling, trying to get a good position. And they're under starters' orders. And they're away. So there we have it boys and girls, the race is over, we now know that Truodon is the fastest dinosaur that we're aware of, until next race anyway. Anyway, back to you Barbasaurus, in the studio. Yes, thank you so much, and we've got the final result here. So in fifth place we have the Gallimimus, Gallimimus achieved the speed of 68 kilometres an hour. Now we have a joint second place, the Ornithomimus, the Dromosaurus, and the Deinonychus all reached a top speed of 70 miles an hour. But our true winner, the Truodon, reached an amazingly incredible speed of 80 kilometers an hour. Congratulations to the Truodon for an amazing speed and whatever is the fastest dinosaur we've ever known. So there we have it, guys. What did you think? Did you expect the Truodon to win? Well, we did a lot of research. Um, we looked into it, um, and we found that most places were saying they were the top five fastest dinosaurs. Now, I will say this, that as science changes, and we discover more things and more different ideas, it's quite likely that we'll find something that someone will say will be faster. Here's the thing about scientists. They like their stuff to be interesting they like it to be heard they like lots of people to know about it so you'll always find whatever is discovered they'll always compare it to firstly the t-rex so it'll be this dinosaur was bigger than the t-rex this dinosaur had larger teeth than the t-rex this dinosaur was faster than the t-rex this dinosaur was more more aggressive than the t-rex this was a bigger better dinosaur than the t-rex and the reason they do that is because they want their uh, their work to be acknowledged and that's understandable so they they always compare it to what is known as the king of the dinosaurs the t-rex the other thing they will do is they if there's any sort of like bracket there they'll say it's the longest the furthest the fastest okay so if, if there's a dinosaur out there and they think it might have been fast they don't want it to be second fastest or third fastest they want it to be the top so that the, their work will be acknowledged for how much work they've put into it so whilst people are claiming something to be the fastest you've got to take it with the idea there are reasons sometimes that people say things are fast um, and there's no rhyme or reason to it it's just what actually happens in science so as we get better as we learn more as we find more fossils then the chances are we may find faster dinosaurs but at the moment according to our race that we've just run the Truodon is the fastest dinosaur. So there you go. Learn something new. All right, let's move on now to uh, public events. So I want to show you where we can find out. One of the questions people always ask is, where are you going to be next? Where can we see you? And I want to show you now where you can find out. So let me bring this up. If you come to our website. So this is the dinosaurexperience.com. You can see it up here thedinosaurexperience.com. This is our main website. And what you need to do, you click on where it says more. I mean, you can click on all of these buttons, but where it says more, it's going to bring up all this drop-down menu. 
And on here, you click on where it says public events. So there we go. I click the public events button, and up here it says live appearances. Now, public events, what we mean by public events are places where you can come and see us. We do lots of lots of work. We do school visits. We do library visits. We do um, corporate events. We do private birthday parties. We do um, uh, scouts um, meetings. You know, lots of people book us. But when the, the stuff that goes on here, the public events, these are things that you can come to. Okay, obviously you can't come to corporate events. You can't come to somebody's private birthday. You can't come to... Um, you know, private uh, schools, etc. But these are public events. So let's have a little look here. Let's bring up the ones that you can come and see us. So today's date's the 20th of April. So we're into April. Um, and we spent the last week up in Shreveport. This is all the libraries up in Shreveport. Had great fun up there. Um, and I'm, I'm sure some of you guys watching at the moment, you were watching us, uh, or you came to see us in Shreveport. Our next job, if you live in around the Denham Springs area, which is where we're from, um, you can see us on the 29th of April. The 29th of April. Um, and we will be at um, the Denham Springs Spring Festival. Okay, we're there all day. I've had, a, I've had three or four people call me this week because they've started advertising it. Um, and saying, you know, what time are you going to be there for? Da, 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 da. We're going to be there all day. We're going to get there at six in the morning and we finish, I think, at four. So our last show will probably be around three o'clock. But we're going to do a show roughly once an hour. So it doesn't matter what time you get there. You're not going to have to wait long for us to see to see a show as long as you don't turn up too late. Um, and our shows last about 35 minutes, something like that. Um, and we'll bring along our dinosaurs. We'll bring along... Um, Rexy, we'll bring along Brutus, we'll bring along some fossils to, t to talk to you about, uh, and probably Brutus as well. So you get to meet our dinosaurs. So that is not this Saturday coming, it's the Saturday after, 29th of April. Here it is, Springfest. After that, we're going up to Ruston on the 12th of May um, at the Dixie Centre for Arts. Now they're showing the um, Jurassic World Dominion movie. Um but we are doing a, a live show before the movie starts. So come along and see the movie and also come and meet our dinosaurs there. We just recently this week booked for the next day at the Lincoln Parish Library, also in Ruston. So we're going to stay over Saturday night after watching the movie. And then on Sunday uh, at 10 in the morning, we'll be at the Ruston uh, Lincoln Parish Library um, there. And we'll, do, we'll bring the dinosaurs there and we'll talk to you about... Our new book, um, Rexy Goes to a Birthday Party. We'd love to see you there. So they're, they're the stuff that's coming up. We're also just at the end of or mid-May, 20th of May, we're going to be in Arkansas uh, at the Magnolia Flower Blossom Festival. Um, they booked us. They tried to get us last year, but we were fully booked, but they booked us a year in advance for this year. We're very happy to be going up to Arkansas. See you guys there. Um, and then when we get into June and July, we really get busy. June and July are our busiest months because of the summer camps and the libraries um, and the festivals. So you can see all sorts of places over June and July. If you want to come and see us, please do. Um, and then the last one I want to talk about today, 7th of October, we've just recently added this. The 7th of October, which is around Halloween time, we're going to be doing another live stage show. If For those of you who came last year, you remember how much fun it was. We had the dinosaurs out there in the theatre with you guys. We were making you jump, making you laugh. Kids had an amazing time. Um, and we'd, we're currently writing a new script, a new show. Um, and Columbia Theatre is very, very um, politely, very kindly um, had us back so we're looking forward to that on the 7th of October um, and then as we as we add more stuff I'm sure there'll be stuff coming in around November December we'll add that to our list here but I just wanted to show you where to find that so that's our public events here um, you can also if you click on more you can see uh, if you've missed any of our live shows like we're doing now if you click on that on the live shows it will bring up all of our live shows so this is where you can come and see right back to our very first one if we keep hitting load more it goes right back to number one um down here fossils oh does that have a date on it no it's over a year ago anyway um so we are at where are we now i've stopped putting the numbers on but that's 38 39 40 41 42 this is the one you're watching at the moment is episode 43 
And this goes directly to our YouTube page, um, but you can watch the videos here. So talking about YouTube, let me just show you that. We're really trying to push our YouTube channel at the moment. We'd really be happy if you would join us on this YouTube page by subscribing. See where it says subscribe here? If you hit the subscribe button over, let's go home. If you come to the subscribe button, hit it, then that will really help us out. We need to get to a thousand subscribers. Okay, we've got 447, which isn't too bad. There are 236 videos here. Um, and we've got all of our stuff here. You can see um, any videos you want to watch. If you want to watch our live shows, the broadcast, like we're doing now, if you come up the top here where it says live, that will bring up purely just the live shows. Okay, so that's another place you can come and see them, not just on our website. But please subscribe, guys. It means the world to us um, if people subscribe because we really we really need to get to a 1,000 subscribers on here because then that way we can start getting monetized um, and um, it helps us out in a big way. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right, so that's our YouTube uh, channel. We've got 447 subscribers. Um, let's show you this one. The Dinosaur Experience for Kids Facebook group. Okay, on this one, you can join here. You can join this group and you can actually uh, comment. You can put any pictures up you want. We do moderate it very heavily. Um, so nobody can come on here and say something without it going through us. So if somebody's trying to sell you something, and we get a lot of that, I'll be honest with you, people get on here and they try and sell shirts and T-shirts and click this link to do that and do this. We're not we're not big fans of that. Um, and so everything is moderated. So parents, you just so you're aware, everything will be safe on this page. We moderate it all. Um, and you can see here we've got some pictures up here from when we went to Shreveport Libraries last week. Um, massive turnout really good fun we really enjoyed meeting you all there and having lots of fun and there's miss dawn there with susie who's our little girl t-rex very popular with the ladies um and then rexy who's always mischievous as we know uh, and the kids are winding me up as you can see all right so that's shreveport there the denim springs festival we'll put that up there you can see our pictures here um and then if we come down a little bit here this was us on the television Last week, uh, when we were in Shreveport, the television asked to do an interview with us. So we had Brutus out there and Susie. And also Rexy was there at the start as well. Uh, and we did a little interview on the television there. So please do come and join the Dinosaur Experience for Kids. We've got 2,600 members. So that's, not, that's great. That's really good. And then this is our main Dinosaur Experience page. This is where we put all our business stuff up. And on here, we've got 10,000 likes and 11,000 followers. So we're very proud of that. Thank you for joining with us. Thank you for helping us out. Um, it really means a lot to us that you follow us and you link to all these things. But remember, the YouTube page is where we want you to subscribe to us. That's what we're really looking for at the moment. All right, let's go back to Guess the Dinosaur. We're wrapping up now, coming up to about 26 minutes, which is really good. Our Guess the Dinosaur, um, here he is. Uh, and I did, I did give the game away earlier because I actually told you. So this is the Therizinosaurus. And as I said in the movie, Jurassic World Dominion, he's the guy that actually kills the dinosaur at the end with his claws when the T-Rex pushes the bad guy onto him. Um, the, uh, I can't remember what it was. Oh, the Giganotosaurus or Giganotosaurus. Um, he actually falls onto the Therizinosaurus's claws and it kills the, the Giganotosaurus when he does that. All right, so that was the question of the day or the, the dinosaur of the day. Um, I just wanted to give a shout out here, Crackers. Thank you for watching, buddy. Um, good to see you. Hope you're feeling well. Hope you're doing good. It's really good to see you. And for everybody else who's watching, although you didn't put comments in, I really appreciate you watching. It means a lot to us. Um, give me a thumbs up if you're watching this live um, or if you're not watching it live, if you're watching it as, as the rewatch later on. Just leave a little comment in there about what you thought about um, Barbrasaurus there. Was that cool? Did you like Barbrasaurus? Did you want to see more of her? Um, I hope you did because it, it took a lot of time and effort to get that going. All right, guys, that's everything I've got for you tonight. It was really good to be back on. We missed last week because we were away. We were in uh, in uh, Shreveport. Um, but it was really good speaking to you guys. I don't want to drag on too much. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again very very soon hopefully next week next thursday all right see you soon bye